Hello, hello! Welcome to Ivana's Noshik Life. Last time I told you that I resigned and I got so much support from you and I want to thank you for your understanding. I was actually expecting that many of you will decide to not follow me and it will be not interesting because I'm not a anymore associate professor, but thank you very much for supporting me. So I haven't just resigned. Uh, I resigned because I got an offer for a new job. So in this video, I will have two parts. I will show you slightly a bit of my first day but on the new job or like on the way to new job. And then after that, I will talk more about what is my new position is and a bit more details about that. And I will answer why data scientist. Let's go. Good morning, it is a bit over 5 a.m. and I'm awake. I'm making breakfast because it's my first day at the job. Good morning, I'm already waiting for my train to Oslo. So the actual road takes for me about two and a half hours. It will be a bit shorter later, but now the uh, Jovic train uh, to Oslo is on the maintenance and it's closed, so I needed to go to another side of the lake and that it means that I needed to drive 25 minutes uh, by car and then one hour and 50 minutes in the train and then a bit of walking. So this is how I'm getting to work. Two hours and about 15 minutes will be when I will be going from Jovik. And then it means that two hours and 11 minutes or like 20 minutes uh, back home. So almost five hours a day I sit in the train. But I use this time to read to work so it's not wasted time and then when I come home I just relax and don't do anything at all. So here it is uh, my uh, it, it is a building where uh, our office is located and it's really amazing look inside and uh, let's go When my work is done, so I don't sit in the office all day hours, uh, thanks to my employer, they agreed that I can work a couple of hours in the train, so I can have some couple of hours uh, at home in the evening, and uh, I'm sitting in the office from 9 to 3, and then I'm on the way to the train to get back home. And you can walk a bit with me through the Oslo center. So what do I do at my work? Uh, actually, I have uh, signed an uh, NDA, yes, non-disclosure agreement, so I cannot tell you that much. But still, I can tell you that I um, work at Kobler. It's a company in Oslo who is specializing in the contextual advertisement. 
and I will, I'm working there as a data scientist. So actually that's all. I cannot tell you anything else, but this is at least this part of information I can tell you. Then the question is why actually how I uh, selected uh, to change a career from the associate professor who had an expertise in additive manufacturing to the data scientist and why data scientist, right? So at my uh, previous work uh, at the university, I was doing a lot of data science, data analytics in the projects. Uh, even my PhD was also kind of 60% of the work. It was about data science. It was about machine learning models and so on. So it's the kind of all my life I had many different tasks related to this field. And also I can see that um, we are developing new sensors, we are developing new technologies and all the time more more and more data is becoming available. So it means that we will need more and more specialists who will be really great in um, working with data and finding in them something interesting, right? So this is about data science, finding in the data some something interesting, useful, um, and uh, you need to have a mind like you need to be open minded. You need to be able to ask uh, questions and to dig in the domain. You have to understand the domain. It's not enough to know only data science techniques. You need to dig in the domain to be a good professional. There is, of course, a possibility. Why not data engineer? Data engineer is responsible for making uh, data pipelines. Uh, and this part of job, I will be honest with you, <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, it will be boring to me if it's 100% of my tasks are actually building data pipelines. It is okay It is if it's uh, some percentage of work, but I would be bored if it's 100% of the job. Then data analyst, I think that uh, quite often companies take it interchangeably and uh, typically yeah, it depends on the company. So some people don't care like what is data analyst or data scientist. Some people uh, do care a lot, and but still the tasks are quite similar. So um, since all my life I was trying to avoid this, that I was taking uh, different courses. Some of them were free. Some of them I actually paid to improve my skills. And uh, after leaving the university and working for uh, almost two weeks uh, at new, like at the industry in the private uh, company, I actually, I knew it before that I still need to improve a lot of technical skills, but this is like, for me, it's very valuable to be at work where you need constantly improve yourself, improve your skills and develop and learn something new. I want to work with my brain. I want to use my head a lot. This is where I enjoy a lot. So, and this is what I actually uh, get in uh, to work with at my new position. So if you want to hear, or well, like, do you want me to share with you some stuff about, related about data science? Uh, even though I cannot do anything, like I can't talk about anything that I do uh, at work, but uh, after I'm getting uh, used to my setup at work, I will start my personal projects uh, after work where I can also practice some technical skills. And I actually could share with you something if you're interested. So please let me in the comments know if you're interested or know in such topics. Thank you for watching until the end. And I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.